So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Kids are kids. It'd only be so much of both. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's already pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter these terrified kids that they sent home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You counselors gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. 
They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come all on. Right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults 
ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. No, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Empty-handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. So here we 
here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep! What Beep. are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Scarum? Who buys this crap? Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah.
can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. I wonder where this goes. out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother loud. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just, let's, let's go. Did a bear do this?
cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah! Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh. I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm -hmm. Which way? <laughs> 